Hi, I'm Anthony Scaramucci with Coldwell Banker Paradise. And today, we're gonna to be doing a training video to take the fear out of doing a virtual open house. I'm gonna have Eagle Eye pop in, give us some tips. Tracy Bacigalupi is also gonna be giving us some tips, and JD. So I hope you learn something and enjoy it. Just relax. So I'm personally gonna be sharing some of my tips when I get ready for a video. The biggest advice I can give you is be prepared. I'm going to put my glasses on. I have my notes here because we're doing this as a training. So this was my script when we filmed this and I actually taped it to the camera. I kept it easy. I just kept the introductory and the conclusion. We're realtors. We know how to sell the house. And when you're looking at the camera, talk to the buyer. That's who you're going to be talking to. I like referring to just one person, not, hey, you guys, because I want that person watching it to feel special. Let me see some of my other tips here for y'all. You might want to practice in front of a mirror. I do that at home. I tape it to the mirror and I go over it. The other thing you want to learn is how to use your hands. So a good trick I do is put your hands in the air, drop them, and that's where your hands are. Don't stand there like this. Uh, another good tip is if you're doing first, second, and third, you're guiding the client, or A, B, C, or motioning somewhere to go, there's a whole thing on YouTube on how to use your hands. I'm just giving you some of my advice. Speak slowly. You do not want to sound like a car ad and at the bottom that disclaimer that is going 100 miles an hour. So if you're working with a great videographer, he or she is going to stop you and say, let's do that again. And that's when you know you have a good videographer. They care about you. If they just let you run through the whole thing, there's something wrong. The time of day is important. I like shooting in the morning or in the afternoon. So those are some other tricks. I also have the house completely ready. Doors unlocked, lights on, and I walk through it with the videographer. They can't read your brain, so we do a dry run so that everybody has a sense of what we're gonna be accomplishing. I share my script with the videographer the night before or well in advance. Tell them what I'm gonna be wearing. There's so many things that you can do to be prepared for this. Now, let's talk about the most important thing, the money shot. Here's Tracy Bacigalupi. Take it away, Tracy. Thanks, Anthony. So um, I get to talk to you a little bit today about the money shots, and let's talk about what that is, right? So in our business, we're in a first impression business. So professional photography and videography is a no-brainer. It's something we need to be doing on our listings. But let's talk about the time span that we have when that consumer is actually viewing our property that we're listing for sale. So your first three to five photos in your listing need to be your money shots. These need to be the most special attributes of that home. Gone are the days where we do an exterior and then we take a photo of the front door and then we open the front door and take another photo as if we're walking through the home. What we really need to be showing them is what's most fabulous about this home so that they want to click and continue to look at photos or they want to move over to that video experience. So please make certain that as you're doing your photography and your videography that you really coach that photographer on where those money shots are and that we're getting really good ones. And when you're working with a drone photographer, you know, get creative, especially in the high end you know, have the drone do the exterior first, especially if it's on the water, let them fly around and then have a door or a window open where that drone can come right into the house. You know, really try to get creative in what you're showing out there on your video and your photography. And finally, I would be remiss if I didn't say, you know, when you are taking those uh, shots in the home, you know, especially in bathrooms, we all know that there's a toilet in a bathroom, right? If you can avoid the toilet in your photography and videography, I would definitely encourage that. But if you can't, at least make certain that lid is down because that is definitely not a money shot, okay? All right, back to you, Anthony. And we're back. Thank you, Tracy. Let's talk about the importance of miking up. You want to avoid that white noise or a dog barking or the distance. So Eagle Eye actually has a mic on me right here, which is fantastic. And it makes a world of difference when you're communicating with that potential buyer. 
So let's talk about the importance of video. I am a huge YouTube fan. And now with everybody being quarantined and there's nothing on television, I'm watching my phone. I'm watching Paula Deen. I'm watching videos of uh, movies and stuff like that. And then I'm hitting realtors and I'm seeing all these tips like at the bottom of the screen, you want to click like, you want to click subscribe, and you want to hit the notification bell so that you're alerted for my next video. But I'm going to have JD come in and talk about the statistics and the importance of video. JD, take it away. Thank you, Anthony. So video is far and away the most consumed form of content on the internet. Over a billion hours of video are watched on YouTube each and every day, and video generates 1,200% more shares than text and images combined. That to me is one of those stats that I, I love because it really demonstrates that if you are objectively worried about what is the best way to get in front of customers, the best way to brand yourself and put yourself out there, video is indisputably king. 1200% more shares than text and images combined. And the other thing I want us to think about is that when you do a video for a listing, that's not just a marketing asset for that listing, it's an asset for you moving forward. You get to walk into a listing appointment, show someone a video and say, this is what I'm going to do for your listing. You get to put it on social media and have people watch it and say, I want that marketing for my home. I want someone who does that to list my home. So when you do a video for a property, it's not just a one and done marketing asset. It's something you can use for months and years to come. Back to you, Anthony. Thank you, JD, for the YouTube tips. I'm gonna have Kim with Eagle Eye come in front of the camera and talk about other avenues with social media. Hi, thank you, Tony. You're welcome. So one of the prime things that people need to remember when they're doing video is that it's not just something that's gonna be broadcast locally, especially when we are shooting our clients, uh, listing their properties, we make sure that our focus is regional, national, and now worldwide. So Eagle Eye has a television program called New Journeys, and it broadcasts in Northern Michigan, and it contains listings from both Southwest and Southeast Florida. So those potential buyers in Michigan are seeing these beautiful properties. That TV show and the listings that we shoot for our clients are also now on Roku. Roku is a huge platform for streaming TV. 136 million people use streaming services to watch their programs. Now these listing videos, Tony's commercials, all these videos are going to be on Roku as well as NBC in Northern Michigan. So another tool for realtors, video is super, super important, just like Tracy and JD mentioned. So hopefully this has taken the fear out of vi doing videos. I've been doing it for a couple of years. The only way you get better is to keep practicing. Don't worry about it. If you don't like the first one, just keep doing it over and over. And the more you do it, like anything else, the better you get. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'll give you what I know, what knowledge, but enjoy it. Be your own person. Show them who you are. That's who they're going to fall in love with. Thank you again and take care.